Hello everyone, this is JW Vincent and welcome back to Final Fantasy 1 in our grand journey to complete the Final Fantasy series. Today, we are departing from Onrock. We are leaving behind the Water Shrine after I spent far too much time trying to get a second Light Axe and the Giant's Gloves. Giant's Gloves are great, truly, there's no, no replacement for that item, but uh, it took too much work. Now, finally though, we journey to Melmond, because I seem to recall there being a met gentleman here who I believe was Dr. Un. Is that you? Hmm, let me see that stone slab. Why, if it isn't the Rosetta Stone. My dear know-nothings, this stone is the key to unlocking the mystery of the Lufinian language. Lupa Lupa. Hmm, yes, of course. Eureka, I've got it. It's an arcane language, but I suppose I can teach it to you. I hope you can appreciate such knowledge. Lupa Lupa, Lupa Lupa, Lupa Lupa. There, now even you can speak the Lufinian tongue. All right. Next, what we're going to need to do is travel to Lufinia. Don't know where that is. Actually, what we'll probably do before we travel to Lufinia, though, is uh, check out this inn. It's such a nice inn here in Melmond, the city of the dead, where people are just buried on the side of the street. Alright. How does one get to Lufinia? Alright, we're going to save the game real quick. Save the game while I'm trying to read this guide. If you're learning Lufinian, it's time to head to the village of Lufinia. South of Gaia is a lake. To the west of this lake, right next to the mountains, is the only place where you can land your airship and be able to reach Lufinia. Okay. Great. So more walking, that sounds like. That's okay. I'm fully prepared for walking. Walking is my middle name. No, it's not. In fact, I hate walking almost as much as I hate random encounters. Not quite as much, though. Okay. So, the Gaia... Gaia should be over here, right? Alright, south of that is... a lake. And... to the west of this lake, right next to the mountains... Oh, wait. Wait. Is it talking about here? Where is Lufinia? I take it this is Lufinia? Okay, I see. And there's nowhere to dock a boat over here either, is there? Nope, that sucks. Alright. Let's head to the west of the lake. Is it right here, maybe? Oh, is it up here? Is it this spot right here? Ha! Oh, joyous day. Okay, at least we can cross the lake. There we go. That was a lot of progress we made right there. <laughs> I got... Oh, winter wolf. Is that different from the ice wolves? I fought ice wolves before, right? These are winter wolves. They're different. Anyway, we got two light... We have two light axes now. We have a giant's glove. We have delicious hot coffee. And uh, most important of all, we have the Mage's Staff, which will help us deal with this particular affront of nature. Let's drop down here real quick, though, and let's check out this Giant's Glove. It is going to cast Saber on us. For those who have forgotten, Saber boosts the caster's attack points by 16 and accuracy by 10, I think. We're not even going to get to see its effects. Good work, team. All those fire spells really dealt with those winter wolves. Alright. Anyway, Saber's... I, Saber, I think, is going to be the best buff you can get on a... Uh, Fighter-type character. Um... 
I wish I had two Giant's Gloves so I could open boss fights with Saber and Saber and Invis 2 and Haste on one of them. But instead, what I think I'm going to do is uh, Saber on Argus, Defender on Belloc, Haste on Belloc, Invis 2. And then, to follow that up with Defender on Argus, Saber on Belloc, Haste on Belloc, and a defensive spell of some sort, and that should have our team kind of set. I might have to use Heal 3 at that point, depending on what we're up against. But I think I think that's going to be our best setup for boss fights. I think that'll really, uh, really bring home the power. Oh, that's not too bad of a walk. That wasn't too terrible. It looked worse from above. Hey, look, hey, uh... I'm a little curious, actually. Let's cast Mage's Staff. Let's see if she can get a Light Axe off on these Necrotors. Because they're called Necrotors, it makes me think they're undead. We'll find out right here if Argus doesn't kill it first. He's gonna kill it first. Oh well. Well, we know that it won't affect the trolls. Oh well, it was worth a try. Whoops, I, I had her use Diara again, using the Light Axe. Oh well. Doesn't even matter. Not even gonna get to see it. Loopa Loopa! Oy. And we're gonna have to trek back out to the, uh... How did the Mithril Helm get up there? That's what I want to know. On the bright side, we can we can drop spells all day now. Like all day long, we got magic for days. Magic for days. We can use Diara twice. We can use Fyra and Thundara. Thundara. So much, so much potential hittage in this team. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. It's still just Belloc punching things into the ground. And Argus cutting off their heads right after. But hey, you know, whatever works, right? Am I right? I'm right. I'm right. All right. Welcome to Lufenia. We are the Lufenians. The, in ancient times, we were known as the Sky People. Ah, that vessel of yours is called an airship. Our ancestors built and used it long ago. We have a legend. It said that in 400 years, four warriors of light would appear and save our people. The Light Warriors, the legend was true! <laughs> well, I mean, that was... None of these buildings can be entered. 400 years ago, our civilization reached new heights. We turned our eyes to the heavens and reached for the stars, but all that is lost now, reduced to mere... Memory? Did it say memory? The castle floating high up in the sky is the Flying Fortress. It was once home to our ancestors. The Tower of Mirage is its entrance. Uh, oh. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I think I'm supposed to get over there and talk to those people. Surely there's a purpose behind coming here, right? Is the man directly east of the entrance. Unfortunately, you have to walk in a large clockwise circle to reach him. You'll know you found the right person when you talk to someone and they give you the chime. A clockwise circle. Move out of my way. We bravely faced Tiamat, but failed to defeat it. The Fiend must still be in the Flying Fortress now. Our power, the power of wind, has been taken by Tiamat. Five of our bravest warriors were our last hope. They still live, but have been turned into bats. Oh. Now take this bell. Use it to enter the Tower of Mirage. <laughs> hey, you. Take this. Obtained bell. It calls it a chime in this guide. They must have changed terminology. All right, now, it's weird that I could... Oh, 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 oh. 
I knew there was a reason for, behind all that. Yes! Yes! Blast foes with light and heat! Yes! Yes, please! Thank you! Ooh! Life 2? Revives ally and fully restore- Yes, please! <laughs> Yay! So those are the two... Those are the two master spells that you can only get from Lufenia. If I go straight down, is there an item shop? Nope. Stupid. Okay. Alright, we have... We have the two strongest spells in the game. And it's, it's time to use them. <laughs> get, get in a fight. Time to use it. And what else am I going to do, really? Flare! Holy! I can't wait. Even if it only hits one person, I still can't wait. Here it goes. Flare! Boom! What's it do? How bad is it? 20 damage each. Oh, wow. Not, not too shabby. Not the strongest attack in the game that is clearly reserved for uh, the Master Monk, but definitely a definitely a good contender. Definitely brings Black Wizard up there. You know, if he could do that as often as Belloc can punch things, we'd be set. Too bad he can only do it three times currently. Ah, that's why you grind up to level 99. Not because you need the stats, but because you need to be able to cast Flare more than three times. I'm not sure how high the uh, s spell points can get, actually. It's a curiosity. No, we're doing this right. I'm finding out if this thing is weak to light spells or not. You don't have to do anything. You can just use your healing staff. In fact, we could have killed the troll. Belloc could have punched the troll. Oh, well. Surely... Necrotar, okay. It is vulnerable to Dia. <clears throat> However, it doesn't take a lot of damage, so whatever. The Dia branch of magic has got to be the weakest in the game. Fire does just as good of a job against hordes of magical of undead enemies. And there's no the Fire can hit anything. Dia can only hit the undead. I guess in exchange we eventually get holy, but that means you could just not invest in Dia. I mean, I like Dia. I've used it a lot, but uh, could just as easily not use it. In fact, now that I have two light axes, I'll probably never use Dia, even on the light axes, because it's so late in the game that it's basically useless. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe we'll run into some undead enemies that are like, Your swords do nothing to us. And then Belloc will punch them because fists aren't swords. But maybe they'll be like, Your fists also do nothing to us. And I'll cast Fire 3 and they won't be a problem. But maybe they'll be like, We also resist fire. We are the strangest undead in the game. And then I'll be like, Well, I got something for you. Dia 4. Never used that before. Used it once. Used it, uh, used it once. Oh, look. There's the Mirage Tower. We're not going there yet. We have somewhere far, far more important to be. That's not where we want to be. Hey, where do I get the adamantine? <laughs> because surely I'm not going to defeat all four fiends before I get... Oh, I flew all the way around the world. Didn't even notice. Where is Cornelia? Princess Cornelia. Of Code Geass fame. Britannian princess. Here we go. We just wanted to come over here and heal real quick. <clears throat> now that we have the uh, bell and can get into... They contain what are largely considered to be the best level 8 magic spells. Flare and full life. Alright, so... Yep, 
yeah, let's go ahead and save. Save. Here we go. All right, there we go. Now that all four orbs are lit, we can finish up all of the game's loose ends. First, let's convert that adamantine we found in the flying... Okay, so you do get that in the flying fortress. I gotcha. Okay. All right, let's make it over to... Uh, just making it to the uh, Mirage Tower or whatever will probably take up the rest of this episode, so let's do that. See, there it is. And here's the only spot we can land to access it. Time to get trekking. Ooh, this reminds me of Final Fantasy VI, where there was a city in the middle of the desert and it rose up into a flying fortress. I think that happens in there, right? All right, here we go. I didn't read where we are. I guess we're on floor two, though. Second floor. Vampires? Oh no! Hey, you know what we can use against these? Light axes. <laughs> or we can punch them to death. <laughs> Whichever floats their boat, am I right? All right, we got to I guess we just got to wander around here. Ooh, chimeras! Well, that's new. Let's see how they like fire. I mean, let's... And let's see how they like lightning, too, while we're at it. Oh, great, they have blaze. Oh, that's the weak version of blaze, though. That's not the dragon version. Do dragons just get enhanced spells? Is that how that works? I mean, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't put that past any game. Dragons are way cooler than chimeras. Okay, apparently chimeras resist fire damage. Maybe fire 2 is just weaker than I remember, though. That was worth 5,000 gil. Hot dang, if we didn't have the best gear and spells you can buy. At this point, what purpose does money serve? All that grinding I did. For what purpose? Oh well, I mean it made the it made the earlier portions of the game easier. Maybe there's more to the game after um, defeating the four guys. Like maybe maybe the towns open up more stuff or maybe something. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It's not my job to know that sort of nonsense. Come on now. All right, guardians. We got guardians here. Um, they should be weak to lightning, I should think. Maybe they're weak weak to fire though. Let's find out. Thundara! Maybe that was them being weak to lightning? Definitely not weak to fire, though. Okay, on the bright side, they're weak to punches and cuts. Just like everything else in this game. Alright. I want to know... Can you show me... I want to know about the creatures not like me. Gotta jump all the way down here to... Oh, here they are. Chimera? Weak to ice? Resist quake and fire. Okay. Guardian? Weak to bolt? Resist death, confusion, and paralysis. But not... Does not resist quake. So if I come up against a group of nine guardians, which I don't think is going to spawn, I can quake them to death. I like being able to cast spells without actually using my spell points. Even if some of these spells are pathetically weak at this point in the game. Like. Like. Fire 2. Well, it killed that guy. I guess I can't give it too much flack. We are talking about vampires, though. I mean, we killed one of those much earlier in the game. 
I think we killed it using fire too as well, so there's that. All right, now these... Oh, I don't have an ice spell. Oh. That only just now occurred to me. There is no... There is no ice item that I can use to cast spells. I need a... I want a map of this area. I want a map of this area so I can just look around real, real quick before I go wandering off. Okay, nothing on the first floor. Wait. Yeah, this shows there is stuff on the first floor and the second floor. Yeah, there are chests all over the place. He doesn't have them listed, though. Let's see. Um, return to your ship. Uh, obtain the chime. Mirage Tower isn't a complicated dungeon by any means, but it can be tedious. Start in the south and must proceed counterclockwise to reach your destination. It's hard to get lost, but if you do, the above maps will be useful. I found the above maps, by the way. I finally figured them out. You have to go all the way to the top of the page. But he doesn't list them in the section. Instead, you have to go to the top of the current chapter. And all of the maps are listed there. Ooh, where tigers? Ooh. I realize you cared nothing for that, but you know, where tigers? Ooh. It's not what I was talking about either. But where tigers? Ooh. All right. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, the most interesting thing to note about the Mirage Tower is that you will be fighting groups of vampires. You may remember them from the Earth Cave. Now that you've leveled up quite a bit, they shouldn't pose much of a problem. In fact, due to the large amount of experience they give, you may even look forward to fighting them. Keep on circling the Mirage Tower and climbing staircases until you reach the third floor. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm, uh... Nope, I need to cast Isuna. I'm trying to maneuver using only my left hand. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Several important items here that you don't want to miss. The first item... Okay, but that's not until... Um... Yeah, that's not until the Flying Fortress. There's nothing of interest here. Alright, use an antidote instead of whatever you were going to use. Don't cast Yasuna, just throw an antidote out. This thing might die anyway. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now we use an antidote. And a heal, maybe? Maybe we use heal? The guy on the internet says I don't need to uh, worry about collecting items in the tower, so I'm not going to worry about collecting items in the tower. I'm going to use some potions. I haven't used those in a while. Alright, here we go. Oh, never mind. Here we don't go. I should really check and see if were tigers are weak to uh, fire or lightning. Because that will make all the difference in our combat, am I right? Yeah, I know. It'll make all the difference. It definitely won't still boil down to which one can Belloc and Argus hit the hardest. Oh, he's basing his thing on the Dawn of Souls version. Of course, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, let's hop over here and grab another antidote for uh, Celia. Yeah, there we go. Haven't called her by her name in a hot minute. Oh, look! Chess! Well... Oh. 
right after I comment on how I don't think I don't like this right after I comment on how I don't think uh, Gil is gonna do me any good they start giving me a lot of Gil I like that though I like every single cockatrice fleeing Mage's Staff, Gauntlets, Punches. You got this. Yeah, didn't even... Didn't even need the Gauntlets, actually. Or the Punches. I think Argus did all the fighting there. 7,900 Gil. Thor's Hammer? Yeah, didn't tell me about that. I think that one casts Thundaga. Thereby eliminating the need for Gauntlets. Wait, does it? No, this says Bolt 2 effect. Dang. We decided they were weak to Bolt? Yeah, I think so. So much lightning is about to rip across this field. Plus some fire. Oh look! One remains! I guess if you have gauntlets, Thor's hammer isn't all that important. I wonder if it's a better weapon though. It won't be better than Excalibur, I assume, but maybe it's better than everything. I didn't mean to flee. I really wish this controller was more precise. I have an authentic PlayStation 2 controller. I bet it's more precise. What is that? What is Le Sun Blade? Oh, sword effective against the undead. Optimize. Equip. Okay, that is optimized. That is indefinitely the better weapon here. I accept. Wait, Protect Ring versus Diamond Gloves. It literally only serves to lower my evasion. That's kind of sad. I think everyone else... Oh, she can equip Thor's Hammer! And it is a dramatic... Well, it's a six-point improvement, but still, I lose access to that Thundara spell. I think I can deal with that, though. Like, one Thundara is probably enough. And if it's not, I'll just have a... Uh, I'll just equip some Dragon Mail, if not. How's that sound? Like, it's... It's directly equivalent to Diamond Armor. There is no difference. then what's the point? Just keep the diamond armor on. At least it matches the rest of your diamond gear. See? See, I don't need Thor's hammer. I've got mage's staff and gauntlets. Please do not. Thank you. That one fled. That one did not like that idea. Hey! He used the Sunblade on an undead enemy. I don't think it did any more damage than it normally does. Yay! <laughs> I... I don't know if that's coded wrong or what, but it's constantly disappointing me. Whew! That's 30 minutes. We have been in here for 30 minutes. We need... to kill these things fast. So... Ice 3. And we'll lay down a bolt as well. How's that? That one's dead anyway. The other two should die right now! Maybe? Hopefully? Only one of them. Huh. Sad. I should really try that Thor's hammer. should let her whack someone just once. 
All right, well, that's it for this round, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and next time we will uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll make it up to the Flying Fortress. Uh, bye bye